Lightning's gonna get cut! Ah! She's got a cake cutter! Karens are everywhere. There's no denying their widespread presence, especially at fast food restaurants. Here are 20 times Karens went berserk at fast food restaurants. Machine throwing Karen. How intelligent do you have to be to take a food order? A Karen is typically a middle-aged woman with a sense of entitlement so great that sometimes things can get violent. A McDonald's Karen took it upon herself to display her displeasure at a drive through window. The angered woman emerges with her torso through the window, grabbing and then throwing whatever she can find, which appears to be tons of sauce packets at the workers. Then, unfortunately, Karen finds herself the iced tea dispenser and proceeds to launch the mechanism at the employees as well. Fortunately, she misses by a mile. Boy, that escalated quickly. We're not sure if her Big Mac came without the special sauce or what, but this Karen clearly wanted all of the smoke. And then some. Karen plus hot soup equals bad combo. Yes! Ugh. In a scene that was equal parts absurdity as it is downright wrong, a Karen in Texas felt as though her soup was too hot. So what did she do? Uh, she drove down to the restaurant after complaining over the phone was not enough, and then took the piping hot soup and turned it into a burning hot projectile heading right for a female employee's face. You know something? <laughs> no soup for you! The employee had to wipe the soup from her eyes so that she could see again and was, needless to say, in shock about the whole thing. That's just wrong. And ouch. Karen demands meat. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boy. One Karen had the audacity to actually hop up on the counter of a restaurant and start demanding food. The wild Karen keeps repeating over and over again, mashed potatoes and chicken. However, the employees literally cannot serve her because, unfortunately, like so many other Karens like her, this Karen, too, is maskless. Horrible images. The restaurant employee can be seen trying to talk Karen down both physically and emotionally, but no dice. This Karen is committed to her craziness like a scorned lover off the rails. The video ends with her kicking a sign and then trying to rally the other patrons to join in her outrage. The disrespect is strong with this one. Can't we resolve this conflict without anger? This maskless male Karen was so confident with his disrespect that he had the nerve to sit on the tables, butt to tabletop, and shoes on said tabletop as well. He argued aggressively with firehouse subs workers in Toronto, Canada about being refused service while refusing to adhere to mask mandates. At one point, this Karen even got right up and said, someone's face. The thing is, Karen could have been refused service on the butt and shoes factor on the table alone. I have the high ground! But the no mask part? That gets an automatic denial of service that is actually well within the rights of the establishment. Hear Father Karen roar. Calm down. I'm calm! <laughs> It appears as though the issue began over the method of payment, but it ends with, well, a roar. The male Karen chastises an employee, flips her off, verbally cusses her out, and then goes to grab his child and make it exit for the door. I don't know what happened. You can visibly see his wife's discomfort at the situation, and then you can even hear his child crying as he continues to cuss out the employees aggressively. Finally, when he is gone and the workers believe themselves to be in the clear, an employee yells out, bye, have a great day, which is when this male Karen switch gets turned to Turbo Karen, and he whips off his mask, runs back speedily and with force, swings open the door and roars something unintelligible. Karenitis, it's sweeping the nation. The Karen to defy all Karens. Because I am so much crazier than you. Keep your voice down. Karens come in all shapes and sizes, like this Karen who defies all stereotypes as she is sporting deep pink hair, is not wearing gym clothes, and even has a mask on while cussing out and threatening McDonald's workers. This incident doesn't end there, no no. After Karen's voice gets increasingly louder, her cuss words increase in between inaudible rants 
ranting, Karen then slams the protector shield, separating the employees from the customers. I hate it! I hate it! Right before going all she-devil on us, pink-haired Karen can be heard screaming, I'll beat your effin' ass. Okay, Karen. The question we all want answered. Our service is not grossly incompetent. The waiter carried the breadsticks in his pants. In a case of entitlement meets childhood innocence, a TikToker took his daughter for a seemingly innocent meal until they encountered, dun-dun-dun, a Karen. What? No way! Why is she so angry? His daughter is heard asking as Karen screams at the workers on how to scoop her food just right. The TikToker's young daughter looks back and forth between her father and Karen for answers. But to be honest, this is a case that we think is better suited for Scully and Mulder to investigate. A lesson in burgers and competence. <laughs> Why do I surround myself with fools? One male Karen held up the entire drive through over what he deemed as supposed incompetence. He Karen gets all up in the fast food employee's face and yells the difference between hamburgers and cheeseburgers at the employees patronizingly. But then the man continues by making demands, saying he wants his money back immediately and quickly. You metal munching moron! He claims his order is all wrong. He then goes on driving the belittling home, saying, Such incompetence! Please be competent once in your life! Take an order and and fill it. Karen in a green dress. Who's that goat-legged fellow? I like the cut of his jib. Uh, Prince of Darkness, sir. He's your 11 o'clock. You may have heard of The Devil Wears Prada, or the song Devil with a Blue Dress On. Well, this Karen wears a green dress, and we don't think it's Prada. Karen in a green dress repeatedly yells, come outside, at employees in between obscenities. Catch me outside, how about that? And then things turn from threatening to violent when Karen picks up the receipt machine and launches it at the employees. One of the employees was definitely kinda egging Karen on and clapping back as Karen screamed insults and expletives, but none of that excuses Karen's unruly behavior. Karen knows the law. I am the law! Masks are often required in public spaces, including many restaurants. That's the law. Here she comes to wreck the day! Well, one Karen put her law professor hat she never earned on and began educating some fast food employees on what exactly the law says. Meanwhile, Karen insists on staying in the restaurant completely maskless. An employee opened the door for law professor Karen to leave, to which she just continued teaching her lesson and insisting that the workers learn the law. Despite the employee's polite pleas requesting that the woman vacate the premises, Karen just kept on being Karen and refused to comply. Shrieking Karen. Okay, yes, I definitely remember doing that, but also I would never do that. In this episode of Karen Goes Bonkers, Karen is parked at a drive through window screaming that she wants her effing money back. Then, after Karen receives her order, she continues shrieking, this time demanding for her coffee. Causing a clear ruckus, the employees are having none of it, and so they tell her to leave. <laughs> Get out. Karen then demands to know the employee's name and yells out a few more obscenities, and then Karen screams as loud as she possibly can. The sound is so alarming, you would have thought that she was screaming for her life, not for her right to enjoy fast food. Karen makes a friend. I'm always angry. Well, at this Mickey D's, Karen begins throwing food everywhere, screaming and sharing her imaginative interpretation of what is, in fact, going down. She accuses a Mickey D's employee of licking their fingers before handling the food. Smash. She continues to grow more and more descriptive with where the employee's hands may have previously been, growing increasingly more R-rated. Perhaps even more hilarious than Karen's antics are the facial expressions on display by the cameraman capturing this episode of Karen's Gone Wild. Priceless. Karen wants all the smoke. Ooh, burn! 
One Karen risked it all at Burger King, a woman at the drive through window outside of a burning and visibly smoking BK location gave as little care about the lives of others as she did her own. Sporting what appears to be maroon scrubs, the woman in the video can be heard screaming, I don't give an F, at employees telling her to get away from the burning building. Help! She continues with, now give me my money is what I'm asking for, but Karen, the fire? Karen calls them stupid, demeans the BK employees repeatedly by saying, that's why you work at Burger King, and then belittles them about their wages. Unbelievable. Karen's kryptonite. Look, kryptonite. <laughs> Karen's kryptonite may be being called, well, Karen. A Karen felt inclined to get out of her car to speak to the employees at a McDonald's drive through Well, one TikToker caught Karen in the act. You're holding up the line there, Karen, he exclaims comedically. Kryptonite. Karen replies by threatening to spit on him, but the TikToker responds saying, Oh no, Karen, is that saliva out your mouth there, Karen? He continues to tell the disgruntled woman to get out of the way there, Karen, to which she responds by calling him Karen in return. He continues to call the agitated woman the K-word and defeats her like Dorothy did the Wicked Witch of the West. Show me the sauce. Well, you're a very bright young man, James, but you need to lay off the sauce. You don't want to mess with anyone's pizza, but Karen's? Forget about it. Karen goes back and forth with a Pizza Hut employee, claiming that there is no sauce on her pie. She then exclaims, show me the sauce. I ordered my hot sauce an hour ago. But then, abruptly, Karen shoves her open pizza pie box aggressively at the employee and makes a break for it. Well, Karen found a worthy opponent because the employee followed Karen out of the hut, and the next thing you know, Karen is seated sheepishly on the pavement, and the employee is talking down to her, and then coolly walking away, unbothered. The let's get corporate involved, Karen. I want to speak to you, manager, now, please. Karens aren't always blonde middle-aged women, sometimes they are brown-haired millennial-looking men. In an incident of blatant male Karenism, the disgruntled fast food customer threatens to call corporate and escalate his complaint. You're a snitch! Male Karen claims that he wants everyone working's employee numbers, down to the guy working the grill, and not only that, but he demands the number to corporate, he wants a refund, and on top of it all, he wants free fries for the inconvenience. Hmm, let's be real, the majority of the time, these people do not contact corporate. Karen meet Karen. Snap out of it! In an incident of pure jokes, one Karen was losing it on another McDonald's customer and called him out, claiming that he was the devil, to which the male Karen decided to proceed to personify what it means to be a demon. Can't be worse than this. He threw his hands up in the air and imitated something out of a horror flick as Karen continued to insist that he was not of this world. Karen screamed for him to get away from her and for someone to call 911. Um, considering people were using their smartphones to film this exchange, we'd say you're on your own there, Karen. Karen's drive through mayhem. This is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. So Karen was doing her Karen-y thing in the McDonald's drive through line, minus the vehicle, and was miffed when a car kept on honking at her to move. So Karen stood in front of the honking car and just waited, and waited, and waited for the moment when the driver would snap and then Fight Club would be on. Karen then threw her food at the driver, who was honking at her to move out of the way. The least you can do is say you're sorry, lady. In fact, when the driver confronted Karen, she threw her hot coffee in the woman's face. Chaotic Karenism. Are you the manager? Uh, yes, I'm so sorry. Karen wants to see the manager and wants to know the employee's name. The crime? The employee was supposedly disrespectful. A man Karen got all up in some Mickey D employee's faces, claiming that they were being rude. Look at the vein on that guy's forehead. He's gonna blow. And then another customer absolutely lost it on Karen for screaming at the employees loudly in his ear, ultimately causing Karen to panic and be chased out of the establishment. You see, 
Karen wanted both a refund and a public chastising of the employee. When he received neither, Karen was pretty displeased with the situation. But hey, at least he left with some food. Karen trashes Mickey D's. It's hot. Hot coffee! <laughs> you idiot! One Karen who was a little, or okay, a lot, PO'd about her coffee taking too long, decided to oddly and gently trash the restaurant. Karen politely places trays on the ground as she goes all rock star on the golden arches. Karen did not only try to induce chaos, but she blamed it on her diabetes. You can't eat candy if you have diabetes. She claimed that her blood sugar level was low and that was the cause for the disturbance. Maybe that excuse flies in Karen court, but we're pretty sure it doesn't fly anywhere else. Jump into more great videos. Just tap or click, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.